Recently, I feel like I've just been feeling very like energetically stuck. I don't know how to describe it, but for some reason like something is restricting me from like accessing a higher version of myself. Like I almost feel like a change in my life needs to happen because right now like I'm just kind of like this. Like I had so much change happen to me and right now I'm just kind of going like this. And honestly, I think I know what that change has to do with and I think I know what I should be doing. Okay. This is gonna be very emotional. I'm really gonna try not to cry. So at the beginning of last year in January 2021, that's when I really had my, you can call it a spiritual awakening, you can call it a life awakening, you, I don't know what, you can call it anything you wanna call it, but that's when I just really realized that like, I wanna really follow my passions and my dreams and make it my career so that I can enjoy the rest of my life and literally just follow my dreams so my boyfriend joel also had this kind of spiritual awakening at the time and we kind of went through it together where we were like you know what like what's the purpose to our lives what are we doing and we were really just like looking deeper into ourselves and looking deep into the meaning of life and just like navigating that at that point last year i was not in school like i had already quit school but joel was still in school and he decided to take time off of school to see what can happen and where this can lead him and our plan was that he's going to start off by helping me make my youtube videos so i can be consistent we can work together and build my channel because at that time he didn't really know what he was passionate about necessarily and he just knew that it wasn't school at the time and I knew that I wanted to do YouTube, so that's where we started off. At that point, we were going to be working together every single day. So he moved in with my family, and he's been living here for this whole year. The year has not gone exactly the way that we thought it would, but it brought us everything that we manifested. At the beginning of the year, we were literally making no money. I barely made it. I was maybe making like a couple thousand dollars barely even that like i was still doing my video editing job on the side and uh, making very small amounts of money from youtube and we just wanted to make these dreams that we have of living our dream life living being able to live remotely we just wanted to make that happen and we just knew that school wasn't for both of us at the moment and we just felt a pull to do this together because we had no idea where it was going to take us and so joel took a leap of faith he quit school. Um, I don't want to say quit because you can always go back. Like it's not something you can't go back to, but he did, I guess you could say take time off of school. Our plan originally was like, okay, we're going to stay here at my parents' house and they allowed us to live here rent free, which I'm forever obviously going to be grateful for. You know, when you have that gut feeling that you're supposed to do something, that was what we were feeling. And we were like, we have to pursue this because this is just like what we feel like is going to lead us to bigger opportunities so we were kind of low-key about it we only told a couple of close friends and obviously our families knew but everybody kind of outside of that like didn't really know like i didn't announce it anywhere i just wanted to kind of work in silence but our plan was to live here for a year and after be financially stable enough to be on our own and move out obviously if it doesn't happen within a year we would do it for as long as it takes but our plan was like, we were just kind of like, hopefully like we can do it by the end of the year. Like that would be, that would be like amazing. And so now we're so lucky to be at the financial place and situation, at the financial spot that we could move out on our own. Joel, he is working for a startup company right now and he is literally obsessed with it. He loves it so much. Like he is, he found his passion. He really did. And I see a smile on his face every single day that he's like truly happy now in what he's doing and he's so passionate about it and obviously I'm doing what I'm passionate about which is such a blessing. We just took a chance kind of blindly and we were just like you know what we're gonna do this and we did do it like we did it and it didn't happen the way like I said it didn't happen the way we expected it to but it all unfolded perfectly. So it is February 15th today and we went to go view our first apartment on the 12th and we were just kind of expecting to dip our toes in the water just to kind of see like what the rental prices are prior to seeing this place. We were looking kind of online every single day and then if we ever liked something we would try to book a viewing for it. We tried to book a viewing for a couple other places but it didn't end up working out because the market is selling so fast right now. Not selling but like 
like things are just getting taken up a lot and it's also selling fast like the real estate market is just crazy right now so we went to go view the place and we literally fell in love with it it was the first apartment that we viewed although we did see a lot of other ones online but it was the first part apartment that we viewed and we fell in love with it we were like this is the dream apartment so when we went to go see it the landlord said that he wanted us to be like if we wanted it we had to move in a couple of days like he wanted it to be rented mid-february onwards because he had other tenants who were willing to do that and move in right away but when we went home um i ended up texting him and i was like you know what like i'm sorry but i'm going to have to say no because I'm not ready to move in that soon. Like the earliest I can do is March 1st. And then I told Joel before that, before we texted him that, and I was like, Joel, like if it's meant to be, then we'll move in March 1st. Like he'll let us move in March 1st. That's what's gonna happen if it's meant to be. So after I texted him saying no, because we couldn't move in middle of February, he texted me and saying, sorry, but I can't do March 1st as I have tenants available to rent mid-February, which totally makes sense, understandable. So um, we texted back and I was like, okay, totally understandable. Um, thank you anyways, the place is absolutely beautiful. After I sent that text, like, I just had like a feeling that he was gonna still give it to us even after he said no. And I just knew it, like I knew it. I don't know how, but like, you know when your intuition is telling you something, I just knew it. And that's exactly what happened. The landlord texted me back a couple, like maybe like 20 minutes later. And he was like, okay, you know what? I really like you guys and I'm willing to wait to have you um, for March 1st. You can start the lease on March 1st. I literally knew that was going to happen and that just goes to show that like it's meant to be as well. And we were not planning on moving this soon. Like we were honestly planning on waiting a bit, you know, take it sl more slowly. But when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And like literally the perfect apartment fell into our laps. Like it fell into our laps. It's our dream place when the universe gives you an opportunity like that you can't you have to go with it like it's meant to be whatever's meant to be in your life is going to come into it naturally and that's exactly what happened i'm going to tell you this next thing just because i i want to keep it honest and this story is so perfect and like i'm literally about to start like my adulthood and we're about to move out together and really start our dream lives um but i'm just going to tell you this next portion because I just want to keep it real and honestly like I'm not trying to be fake and hide how I feel from you guys because you're the reason why I'm in this position and I want to be so like open and honest with you guys always so I come from a really I guess you can say a religious background where my parents are super religious and basically it's like against the religion to move out before you get married they are very disappointed and upset with me for moving out before i get married but um you know me and joel have been together for five years now and we know like it's meant to be and we need to take this next step in our lives like marriage isn't the next step in our lives like this is the next step for us and we know that and I'm not gonna get married just to please my parents like I'm gonna do what I want with my life and I'm not gonna live it to please anybody else even though I know that I'm disappointing them like I realized that like in order to live your own life you have to disappoint people in order to follow like my dreams like I have to disappoint people but at the end at the end of the day like that's what's gonna be best for me and it's my life if you live your life based on other people's opinions you're not gonna be living your own life it's like really hard when your parents aren't proud of you and they're not excited for you and when they don't want anything to do with you like a big step my inner child is like yearning for their support because this is like a really big deal to me and like i'm really proud of us I'm really proud of me and joel and like they can't really say one positive thing about us doing this it really sucks it really hurts me in the day like if i did what they told me to do then i would just be lying to myself it's, it's my life i'm gonna do what's best for me and not what's best for them or not what is best for anybody else it does suck having them not there to support us but like it really sucks because this is such a big that's a big step but you know i know that this is gonna make me grow as a person and it's gonna make me stronger at the end of the day and it's gonna make me more secure in who i am as a person, it'll take time for me not to feel 
this sad about it. This is not gonna stop me from doing it, but it's like obviously you want the support of your parents and what you do and you want them to be with you for every step of the way. Um, and it just sucks when that can't happen. But I just wanted to um, share that with you guys because a lot of the things on social media nowadays is like really filtered and it's like nothing is that easy. Like people go through struggles in order to come out stronger and that's why I wanted to tell you guys this is because sometimes you have to go through these moments in your life in order to be stronger and in order to grow as a person to spread your wings in order to be true to yourself and moments like this in life are normal it's just a part of life and you'll get through it like i will get through it and it's tough when it's happening in the moment it gets really emotionally tough to deal with but at the end of the day like it's only going to make you stronger and it's only going to do good for you like you're, you're going to learn from your experiences and you're going to grow but i just know at the end of the day that this is best for me and for me and joel together to do this and it's a necessary step in my life right now because i feel like i was just energetically like this whole year i was going up i was going up and then all of a sudden i hit this point where at the beginning of the year i just felt like i almost was like i needed a change i needed a change like something needed to happen the universe was like you know what like you're done this phase of your life like you need to move on to keep accelerating and to keep growing and this is exactly what needed to happen like this place literally fell into our laps and i am so beyond excited like we are so excited and i know like i'm crying right now but i'm so excited and yes it is tough for me right now but like i will get through it and is still such an exciting time and like i am so happy and i know that this is going to be so good for me and i'm just so so grateful that i have this channel that is growing sometimes things don't unfold the way that you think that they're going to but they will unfold perfectly at the end it's like sometimes you don't realize how much you're manifesting and how much you're growing until you really take a step back and realize it's like me getting this apart like us getting this apartment it feels so so normal like it doesn't feel anything like super big you know it is something super big but at the same time it's because like we were manifesting it this whole time that now that it's like a reality it's normal you know what i mean and like sometimes you don't even realize what you're manifesting into your life and how far you've come until you take a step back and you look and you're like holy shit and that's so important to do so yeah it's so important to do what you want with your life or else you're going to have regrets and you're always going to wonder what if and even if it sucks and you're going to ruin relationships at the end of the day you have to do what's best for you and if you know what that is deep inside then do it because if you don't you're always going to wonder what if you're so excited like oh my god these are like happy tears i promise like these are happy tears um you're so, so excited it's official we're moving in two weeks we're moving literally in less than two weeks i think it is now we're moving in exactly two weeks exactly to the date it's two weeks um yeah so i'm gonna bring obviously <laughs> i'm gonna bring you guys along this journey and i want i just want us to grow together in every aspect and i can't wait to document everything what i learned down to like my spirituality down to my finances like down to everything i want to document everything with you guys i'm so thankful for you guys watching my videos and i love you guys so much yeah i'm so excited for you guys to come on this journey with me and yeah so stay tuned for my moving vlogs and this is the beginning of a new chapter it's so exciting but anyways i love you guys as always and i'll see you guys soon Get excited Hey, so it is February 12th and me and Joel are viewing a place today and we are at Ikea right now just to kind of get a look on furniture and just kind of going for funsies. We're not necessarily going to buy anything today, but I don't want to buy everything the month that I move out because that's just like too much, you know? So I kind of want to uh, disperse my expenses and just, I'm just like 
dipping my toes in the water right now and just we're just gonna like look for fun and then in the next couple months I'm actually gonna inquire buying things like buying dishes and stuff because we both don't own anything we don't have a dish to our name like I never went to university and lived on my own so I never had to buy any of that kind of thing um, and Joel when he moved out he basically used most of his parents stuff like as, in terms of dishes and he kind of lived with people that already had dishes so he didn't need to buy much anyways when he lived on his own at university but I've never done that so it's like we don't really don't have anything so anyways I just wanted to start documenting um the process of moving out and you're you know taking a leap of faith i'm going to dive into this more but i just wanted to document this journey because it seems surreal and almost fake you know it seems really weird and i just wanted to document it along the way because it would be really cool to look back on and even if i don't end up posting this just like to have these videos is going to be really cool okay anyways we're going to view a place at five and it's 3 30 right now so we have like about an hour to look around so yay i like the way the nice and aesthetic 270 270 isn't that like normal for a desk chair nice and aesthetic you guys i'm literally purchasing two little soap dispensers because i thought that these were so cute and look at the total when i'm telling you things always align i'm literally telling you like that is literally crazy okay so it's currently february 19th i believe and we move in in exactly a week well not like fully move in but like we're just gonna we get the keys so we're just i guess that's moving in technically but it's gonna take us a few days to really get our stuff in and everything so we are here at ikea and today we're gonna be getting like everything essential we need to get plates we need to get cups we need to get you know kitchen things like i made like a whole literal list on my phone of things that i literally searched up on the internet and i was like things you need for a kitchen when you move out because there's so many things that we use like on a daily basis in the kitchen and stuff that we don't realize that we're using and that we need you know so there's like i literally made a whole ass list and there's so much shit that we need to get like cutting boards baking sheets like all that stuff so many things to get but ikea honestly has so much like they have everything to get you started so we're just like you know what let's get everything we can here um and then we'll also we're also going to go to other stores but we're tr going to try to get as much as we can here just because it is like cheaper pricing yes the quality is cheaper here but at the same time it's like our first place so we don't really care that much and we're planning on literally leaving and traveling in a couple years so it doesn't really matter and yeah we just want to get ourselves started and get furniture it's so exciting um not furniture actually today we're gonna come back for furniture um i think next weekend but today we're just gonna get the essentials so so excited adulting adulting ladies Okay, so we just came across this couch and this is like perfect size that we would want because like I really like how it's an L shaped and then you can put like an ottoman in the middle. So for sizing, this is like perfect and it's also pretty comfy. So I'm going to see if it comes in, um, in different colors online, but this is definitely nice. You know, we ought to get the wine glasses. It's literally a six pack for $9, so can't go wrong. And you know, when you have friends over, you wanna be using some wine glasses. This is the updated cart. I'm sorry, I haven't been updating you guys because it's so busy in here. And yeah, I will give you guys a haul obviously later, but this is what we got so far. box i feel like this is going to be big enough for hopefully all of my bathroom things because i just have kind of a lot of products like face masks and stuff like that that obviously i want to bring with me um but i don't have like too much like i honestly don't have too much so i feel like this should be the perfect size box so we'll see what i can take with me um my sister share this bathroom me and madison so I'm not like gonna take the stuff that like we mutually bought like I'm not gonna take it 
And then we're just going to take the things that belong to me and only I use. So. Here is all the stuff that I took out of the cabinets. Honestly, there's a lot more that I thought that I had because I still need to do under here, which honestly, there's not like that much. It's basically like under here is the stuff that I pretty much use on a daily basis. And also in here as well, I have like my hair stuff. So this is all stuff that I use on a daily basis, whereas this is just more like hair stuff. At least the stuff in the cabinets fit in here. <laughs> and then for under here, we'll get a new box, but yeah. I thought that it would all fit, but it's okay. Here is the state of my room right now. Um, not very pretty because I've just been kind of like trying to sort through my things and get rid of stuff. Like that's kind of to get rid of that bag there. This is stuff that I already packed up. Um, so it's not looking too pretty right now, but it's okay. Yeah, this is, this is what you have to do to pack. And honestly, packing is literally so hard. Like it's really hard because like you don't realize how much shit you have until you start. And then you're like, holy shit. Anyways, so... Yeah, it's not looking too good right now, but we're going to work on that right now. <laughs> I think right now what I'm going to do, because yesterday I just went through, I didn't film it, but I went through my nightstand and I unpacked, packed that into here. And then I also did my desk drawers and packed that in to here. So this is my nightstand and my desk drawer. And then now I think I'm going to do these two drawers underneath my bed. We are taking the drawers and everything, so... um yeah, but I, I do have like a lot of really useless shit underneath these drawers that I don't want to take with me. So we're going to get rid of a lot of shit right now. 